hey what is up guys welcome back to the mobile game tutorial so this episode we are going to replace the wind box we have um right now our wind box looks like a simple cube like that i actually deleted mine so i don't have it anywhere else but that that is pretty much what your wind box should look like let's change it a little bit this episode and we will also add some kind of little particle effect around it to make it look like um well pretty much this is here you have to go right so let's open up 3ds max and we are going to create uh, first off let's make sure that our own grid is on the one so that's one meter let's make sure that our wind box is two by two so I will take a cylinder press S on the keyboard so it snaps and I will drag it right about here so that's a two by two and then we can elevate it by one meter after that, I'll go ahead and just reduce the amount of, uh, of side to 16. So it is dividable by 8 and the height segment, I'll put that on 1. I will then convert this to a editable polygon and then remove the top face and also remove the uh, bottom face. Take my corner selection, I will take the upper corner over here, press on my W which is the move tool and then I will proceed to change the scaling of that. Um, so on the Z axis, let's make this like 0 0.25, right? Then we can take the same exact selection we had and scale it down a little bit like that. Now I will take this border, I will hold shift and scale it inward like that. Then uh, take my move tool, hold shift and, oops, put it down like that and maybe even scale it again inward just like this and I'll bring all the edge in the center and then we'll choose all of these vertices go in weld option box and make sure that we weld all of these together okay so that, that could pretty much do the job of course you can play around it a little bit you can put say a chamfer on that edge to give it more depth, more definition or you could also just leave it like that right now as for the material um, I'm going to be really boring and put the exact same one we have so let me go in computer oh, local disk where is my project folder it's over here assets artwork texture tile green I'm going to drag and drop this on, on here and then we're going to redo the UV really quickly. So I'm going to take all the edges, no, all the faces in the center by doing, not a shift selection, that doesn't work, so I'll do a, I'll simply select all of them like this. And we will unwrap these UVs, so I will go ahead and just do unwrap UVW, open in UV editor, I'll choose all the faces and then I will go down here in projection and I'll do a Z projection which will pretty much just um, give us this circle and I will scale it down a little bit so I have to check that again and let's scale it down towards the center and here we go like this so that's for the center now as for the sides uh, let's go ahead and just unwrap all of these all at once oh, not shrink I'm holding control to pretty much just select them all and then let's unwrap once more I will do a flatten mapping so we get all of these which is really not something we want let's do a Z projection again and keep all of these on the same exact color so yeah actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these vertices just quick transform them into a single color and let's use um, let's use a light one so the one in the center like this and as for this one, we're going to use the darker color. So unwrap, take off, select all of the vertex. Let's do quick transform like that. 
that and move this to the darker color. So we get something of the sort and uh, beneath it is, is not visible. We should also smooth the inside so I'll take all of these faces by uh, pressing on one and then holding shift, pressing on the one next to it and we will put them all on the same smoothing group just like that so we're just gonna go down here and click on either one or two or three doesn't really matter just make sure that they are all on the same one and now it's more smooth alright so that's pretty much it for this uh, object I'm going to go ahead and save it inside of my project folder so assets artwork texture no never mind model and this is the winbox right now our windbox is going to be a little bit more different and that is going to have some effect around it so what we have to do is drag and drop it in the game somewhere and we are going to play around with this thing oh by the way we didn't do the um, the reset transform and I've noticed that because as you can see the rotation is on minus 90 so that's the actual model we get let's quickly go do that so right here in the utility tab we're gonna do the reset X form Press on reset selected, collapse it by uh, converting it to editable polygon. Let's rename it while we're at it, so winbox. And then we are going to go in the affect pivot only, center to object. Move the pivot, the Y axis upward, like that. And then we save again and we should be good to go. So here it is, the model is now clean. Alright, so here is our model. We are going to remove the animator. We are going to add the uh, new material on it. We are then going to create, on top of that object, somewhere in here, we're going to create a new 3D object. Let's make this a capsule. And this is pretty much going to be the uh, collision box. So, um, rename this for collider. And we're going to move it a little bit upward like that. So as soon as the player enters that zone, then it is now uh, considered that he won. So this capsule collider over here, let's make sure that it is on trigger. And let's then remove the mesh renderer like that. We can also remove the mesh filter. So pretty much this object is just a transform with a collider on it. Then after that, on this very object, we are going to add the winbox script. Okay, take your new windbox, go ahead and drag and drop it in the prefab folder, override the last one you add, and we are going to place it somewhere in the map, so maybe maybe something like here, just to test it out. Press play, let's go ahead and try to enter that windbox, and we pretty much win. So right now it crashes because we didn't start from the menu, but this actually does the same action as the victory one. Okay, so we can place it somewhere cool like around here. And now to make this more visible, because right now we're using the same texture pretty much everywhere and it's not really it's not really good looking and it's not really appealing. Um, what we can do is we can actually create some kind of particle around that. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's move it back somewhere where we can see it. And we are going to add a new particle system so over here particle system I will go ahead and just move this as a children of the wind box so the particle system is now a children of the wind box we are going to move it at the origin so like that zero 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 everywhere let's move this like so and we can hit apply on our wind box right okay so we're gonna change the shape over here we're gonna put that on cone and then rotate the cone like that so it actually comes out of the middle and after that let's go inside of the particle system itself and we're gonna do um, we're gonna change things a little bit so we're gonna do start lifetime let's put that on the one and uh, start speed we can say it can go really fast maybe 10 maybe that's too fast let's put it back on 5 and then you can play with the size as well I'll be putting mine on 0 0.5 I really want it to be small and then we can change the color for say cyan that wouldn't fit with the texture at all let's do a really light green something of the sort and then we have the gravity modifier 
So we can actually do um, we can actually do like two in gravity and then increment the speed by quite a lot like that. And that would mean that we would have to increase lifetime to say two seconds. And now that's pretty much going in all the directions. So that's a little bit too weird. Let's do start speed. Let's put that on five, then reduce the gravity by uh, quite a lot. I'm going to do 0 0.5. So that's pretty much okay with me. I'll just keep that. And then what else could we be playing around with? We could also add collision to these, but they're pretty expensive uh, for a mobile game at least. So say you went over here and we actually chose to add collision to these like so by checking the collision over here and then I'll put that on a weld you would actually see these bouncing now right now it doesn't really work because the life isn't as long let's put that on a little bit higher uh, as you can see there is some bouncing over here so that could be pretty cool but I'm not going to be using that because that's uh, a little bit too expensive Alright, so I'm okay with that. That's pretty much my um, my win box right now. So I'm going to choose it and then hit apply. The particle system will shut off, but it is still there. So I will go ahead and just put it somewhere around here. And my win box is now there. Right, with another texture, it's actually going to look pretty cool, I believe. And then we know that this is where we win. Alright guys, so thanks a lot for watching. If you learned something or if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave me a like. It really helps me out. And if you have any question or comment or you'd like to share your art, you can do all of that on my Facebook page, which is in the description below. So guys, thanks a lot for watching and I will be seeing you in the next episode.